Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. It is the doodle of the day, January 9th, 2014. Before I start, I want to give a real quick um, shout out to a video series that Carol Moyer is starting. Um, her first, first video went live today. Um, she's going to, I believe it's, um, she's teaching her form and how she uh, practices witchcraft, uh, her Wicca, rather. Um, I um, watched her video. I think um, my belief is, you know, that, um, how do I explain this? Everybody has their own belief system when it comes to Wicca. I'm Wiccan and Pagan. Um, been so since I was 13. So everybody has their own way of practicing it. Um, there's nothing wrong with anybody's way. So, um, you might listen to me. I know I've gotten so many emails and questions and have helped a lot of you guys and have answered a lot of questions for you guys and have always said that this is my way that I do it. Um, Carol has a book out and, and it's her way that she does it. So I think that there's nothing wrong with, um, you know, watching her series, listening to what I have to say or other people that you respect, um, because everyone practices differently and each, like each person's path can't really be taught. Um, it, it's something that comes to you. It's something that, um, means something to you. Um, now for Carol, meditation is important and she meditates, I believe she said an hour a day. Um, if I could sit still an hour a day, I would be lucky. For me, meditation, when I meditated, um, you know, sometimes the most I could do is maybe 10 minutes and I would light my candles and all that. Um, Carol had um, mentioned about herbs and whatnot, and her book is for, um, you know, how to, how to do witchcraft without having to go out and buy. I do buy herbs and do candle magic and do herbs and in my magic and, and different things like that. I do kitchen magic. I, I do all those kind of things. Um, so I don't, I don't want people to get confused when it comes to you guys asking me questions and me answering questions in my way that I practice and then watching her video and then Carol's video and then thinking, Oh, who's right, who's wrong, because we're both right, because we both have our way of doing it. Um, I, like I said, it's a personal thing. I'm a, I'm a nature freak. I uh, am a tree freak, you know, and, and again, you know, I'm pagan and Wiccan. Some Wiccans aren't pagan and some pagans aren't Wiccan. It's not, there's no real way to say it other than that. Like there's no real right or wrong path, if that makes sense. Um, my spells that I do, um, I do use candles. I do use herbs, um, you know, and you know, her spells that she does, you know, she does them in her way. And like I said, I suggest her book because it is for people who want to get into the Wiccan, uh, craft and, you know, follow the, the Wiccan path that we have, um, without having to, you know, want to go out and buy herbs and, and, and do all that stuff that, um, you know, that I, I happen to do, um, you know, I do spells, uh, you know, that involve healing people, sending positive energy and harmony and love and creativity and, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I like to use natural things from the earth, uh, you know, when I can, um, we believe in a goddess and a God, uh, you know, nature is my church. I, I cannot explain it any better than that, that nature is absolutely my church. Um, it's so hard to explain because, um, having so many people email me and me answering their emails with my way and then having her like Carol's video. It's so funny because you could go look up six more videos and you can find six different ways that we all practice. D does that make sense? So don't ever think that I'm right or she's right or this one's right or that's right. Sit with your notebook. Write down things that I say that strike you. 
Write down things that Carol says that strike you, things that are attainable for you. Maybe she meditates an hour. Maybe you can only do five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or a half hour. But write those things down and take from everybody who does this. Um, again, like I said, she has a great book out and I totally love it. And I, you know me, I don't, I won't um, tell you guys about anything that I don't believe in or I don't you know, I don't want to promote, uh, you know, being Wiccan isn't, uh, evil. It isn't, you know, we don't make little dolls up and worship Satan or anything like that. Um, our basic, uh, read is, you know, the harm none, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we don't have supernatural powers and we don't do all these things you will, you will get by watching, and, ask, and like I said, I've answered so many questions on this. And this is why I'm kind of responding in this sense. Because I don't want people to say, well, wait a minute. You said blah, 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 blah. And then watch Carol's video, which I highly advise you to do. And then say, well, you say this, but she says that. And that's because that's how she practices. You have to figure out how you're going to practice. And what she's doing is giving you her way and teaching you her way. And like I said, as what as far as art goes, as far as anything goes, you pick and pull from different pieces, knowing, you know, pulling what what speaks to you, finding your god and goddess. You know, I know who my god and goddess are. Um, you know, there's, you know, we have a, a very strict belief in the law of three, which I'm sure she'll talk about in future videos. Um, you know. Whatever you send out into the world comes back threefold, good or bad. So if you send out bad, net, you know, negative energy, you're getting that back three, you know, threefold. If you send out positive energy, you get threefold back. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot I can sit here and talk about, but I wanted to address it at least um, the best I could as far as this right now. I'm not going to spend this whole video doing this, but um, I did want to. Um, let you know, I'm putting her video down in the um, comment box for you to go check out her video. If you are interested, and I know a lot of you are because I've gotten so many emails, if you are interested in starting to follow um, uh, Wiccan practices, um, I suggest you write down, you watch her videos, I believe they're going to be daily. And you write down what speaks to you. Like I said, the meditation. Um, she talks about uh, writing different things down. I mean, you'll watch her video. And if that speaks to you of something that you want to do, then that's what you write down in your book. Just grab a notebook, a piece of paper, and write that down. And make your own. Because you're going to be pulling from her energy, pulling from my energy, pulling from other people's energy. And, and making it your own. And that at the base of everything, no matter what I say, no matter what Carol says, no matter what Lori Cabot, who is like a goddess to me, who is my goddess, no matter what they say, <clears throat> you have to find your path because it's your own special path. Like I said, I use herbs. I have a piece of my Christmas tree here that I take off. I have my candles. I have, you know, I have all that kind of stuff, all my gems, all my crystals and all that kind of thing. And one day I'll show you my altar, but, um, you know, you, so take pieces of it. Okay. And I don't mean to sit here and bore you for those who don't care about this type of thing, but I am going to put her down, um, her link down. Cause I think, um, I think, you know, those who are interested in this um, type of thing <clears throat> definitely should go watch. Because if you're just beginning, you are going to be pulling pieces from her. And you are going to be pulling pieces from me. And you are going to be pulling pieces. Um, like I said, I've when I mentioned it and showed my Book of Shadows, you know, I have a way I set up my Book of Shadows. A lot of people email me. I have people on Facebook I'm trying to help. And I really say... Ask me questions. I, I can I can answer questions better than I can just read your mind of what you want to know. And um, things that are important to me in my book of shadows. Um, uh, if you know Carol has a book of shadows, I've only watched her first video, but um, might not be the same to her. And something else, you know, it might be something else. And for you, you that might resonate with you. So you know, pick and choose from everybody what 
really, really resonates with you. And that's how you're going to find your good, your good positive path of your own. And that's why I'm glad that um, I'm able to sit and talk with y'all about my Wiccan uh, beliefs and pagan beliefs and what I believe. And y'all know I worship trees. I love trees. Um, I worship nature, my animals, um, my deities, uh, my my dog Spyro is my familiar, and I can go on and on and talk about this forever. Um, like I said, I know you guys have been emailing me like crazy with questions and stuff, and I love it. But again, this is another way to look at it, somebody else's way that they practice. And I think it's good for y'all to sit and like sit with your notebook and watch and just write down little things. And then if you have questions, um, you can get her book, as a matter of fact, um, which when I put her link down, you'll see when you go to her link on the bottom, you can buy her book. Um, but you can email her questions. She'll answer your questions. And you can continue to email me questions if you're uh, if you want to get into it. Um, again, you have to find what works best for you. And I just want to say that it's not being disrespectful to anybody else or how they practice. Um, it's just something I've learned over all these years is that, you know, I have, a, I have so many books on paganism and, um, Wicca and Lori Cabot's books and, and so, so, so many books. And, and I don't sit and follow exactly what they say, but I pick, I write in my notebook, what draw, what brings, what speaks to me, I guess is more like it. So, um, I just want to say that. Um, because I don't want people writing me and saying, like I said, but you said this and then, you know, and that contradicts maybe something that Carol said, which doesn't make Carol wrong. It just makes that we just, everybody, I think most Wiccan people, unless you maybe, uh, we're solitaires, so we don't do in covens, but, um, you know, unless you, maybe you do in a coven, um, which I've not been involved in, um, maybe you all practice the same, but as solitaires, everybody has their own way. So it's not, I'm not wrong. She's not wrong. I'm not right. She's not right. I'm right for me. She's right for her. And I wanted to kind of say that for beginners. So people don't get confused if that makes sense. So don't forget to look in the below, um, comment section. And today's drawing will be quick because I just ran my mouth for as long as I did. Because you know that's what I do. But I just wanted to say it because I know people are going to gonna get confused. And um, because I've answered so many questions for people. And then, you know, but everybody's different. Everybody's completely different. Having said that, I'm going to draw a little devil. <laughs> I won't color this one. I'm just going to make my doodle. A little devil. Kind of like a little cat devil. Probably should have gave him more room. But it's very, uh, it, you know, it's a very open religion, so to say, spiritual path. And you want, you know, you want what some things resonate with people more than other things. So nothing's ever right or wrong, if that makes sense. You have to do, like I said, it's it's a personal thing. Her sharing with you is wonderful because you, you know, you're learning. You're 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 hearing different ways that you can practice and different ideas. And she has, like I said, she has a really great book out for people who don't have a lot of money and who want to practice. Like I said, I do do candle magic. I do use herbs. I do um do uh kit you know have done ki kitchen magic and all that kind of stuff i like candles i i have a white uh matter of fact i have to get new a white candle and a black candle and wipe my light my white candle for positive energy to be light in the house and and light the black candle at a different time to take away the negative energy so there's just so many different ways people do things so why not learn you know and see then what works for you But I just wanted to say that because I watched her video and it was a great video. But then I thought, oh, because we do practice differently and she's doing this um, series, which I think is wonderful. 
but I don't want people to be like, well, you said this and, and why is she saying that if it's something different than a different way than I do? Because, um, again, we all do it differently. Maybe she read my mind and she's calling me, but I think it's definitely worth, you know, and if you already practice, then, you know, I just like, do I want coiny? Yeah. Oh, that's the most annoying ring. Probably my husband saying, can you shut the hell up? But yeah, so that's it. There's so many PS. It's it's like it's like a religion in a sense of that there's Catholic, there's Protestant, there's you know, Muslim, the Muslim, there's uh, you know, so many different religions out there and it's kind of you know, kind of how this is in a sense. So I just wanted to kind of give give you a heads up on that so you're not confused when you watch her or if I ever talk about it and, you know, you're not, you know, that's something maybe that you're not, you will find your path. By listening to me, watching her, uh, listening to her, uh, reading books, doing everything, you will definitely find your path that sticks and talks and speaks to you. We all have our own path. And even if you do follow, the, if you're a Catholic or a different, um, this is my drawing so far, you will, um, you know, you can still, you can still do this. What kind of news do I want them to have? Yeah, you can still do some of these things that we're talking about. Because you're not hurting anybody. This is all for you. And I'm anxious to see her next video. Like I'm, I'm waiting. Like I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what she speaks of next. Cause I have practiced a very, very, very long time, but you're never, you're never too, um, too old, I guess is the word I want to say. You're never too old to learn new things, you know? And like I said, I've went through her book and everything and there's things in there. I have pages marked and stuff and I'm not too old to, you know, as long as I've been practicing and, and doing my, my thing, I'm not too old to learn and to try new things. So I'm all for it. And you can get her book on Kindle. I know a lot of people got Kindles for their, uh, for Christmas, for the holiday. So you can get her book even on Kindle and get it delivered to you today. Or you can get it, I like it, book form. I like to carry it around. I mark in it. I write in it. You know, I do that kind of thing. It's like kind of like a cat bat. I'm hip, man. But yeah, so I just wanted to say that, like I said. And not disrespecting Carol whatsoever. Just to let everybody know. Because I, I have answered so many questions. And I don't want anybody to be... Like, well, wait a minute. You said? All right. And I'm going to bore you just a few minutes more coloring in their eyes. This is for Doodle Days with Poet Spies. Poet Spies. Poet Spies. I'm doing Doodle Days with Poet Spies. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? I know. Pixie asked me to do a little song for her. Color my eyes purple. It's like a purple. It looks purple, but probably not on my camera. On my camera, because I'm colorblind. And when I show my reds and oranges, my purples and blues, they all look not like the color I use. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get down, girl. I need me some music. See, it looks blue. It's not. It's purple. It is called Violet. My one of my favorite songs from my girl Courtney Love. All right, all right. 
But I'm still going, still going, looking for black. How about some black grape for the wings? I'll just outline. I won't waste your time while I color in since I talked so very much. I just want people, you know, who are interested and who want to start this journey to know that there are it, that there's so much to learn and it has to be your journey and watching people's videos and asking questions like I said y'all email me and I answer y'all you can continue to email me you can watch Carol's video email her and um you know you learn like I said what resonates with you is what you do <gasps> I rhymed again, I rhymed again. Is that my witchy ways making me rhyme again? I'm just too cool. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna keep on going. Mm -hmm. Now that I've bored people who don't give a crap about what Wicca and all that I was talking about. But I do know there's a lot of you who are um, very interested. And I, so I want, wanted to talk about her videos and her book. Because I did buy the book. And I know it's in Kindle form. And I know so many people have bought, um, have gotten Kindles for Christy Moss. Or whatever holiday you celebrate. I don't know what you celebrate. So you can just buy it and get it delivered now. But I... Let's give him some pink since he got purple eyes. I'm doing this on my cardstock. I quit using that paper. That's just going to be my pencil doodle paper for my ideas. And if I talked in circles earlier about the whole Wiccan thing, I apologize. I was supposed to go for blood today and did not because I am not feeling well. But I'm going tomorrow. And I'm a little bit out of it, so excuse moi. Just go in and do light purple. And that's all I will talk about Wiccan things from now on. Uh, if I do talk about them, I will talk about them and label them as so. So if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. Because it's not fair to people who aren't interested in it and don't really care about it. And I'm doing an art thing so I don't you know so I do apologize for that but I want to I want to put her link down below and I just kind of wanted to explain that we all we all have started somewhere to get to that path and um, we've picked up a lot of stuff along the way from different people or books or experiences and we all have a lot to offer for people who are just starting out But from now on, I will, so I don't bore people who don't care about it. And I get it. I know. Not everybody's into that kind of stuff. And Something I wanted to say, though, is when we're doing our, um, whether it's our mixed media paintings or our art journaling, um, and you know how, like, I have a, my mixed pit media painting I was going to finish today, but I'm not because just not feeling well. I'm going to probably do it tomorrow after the doctors. But, um, you know, I do quotes and all that kind of stuff. You know, for those of you who do believe in your God and the Bible and you have favorite verses or whatever, um, you know, you can use those as, as great quotes with your, with your uh, drawings and things that you do. You don't have to just use a quote. You know, if there's something that, that, means something to you or stands out for you 
you know, quotes that you like or verses or whatever, you can use that. You could print it out on the printer or write it out and use that on your painting. You know, you don't have to use a quote, you know, use what, what, uh, works for you, what you believe, what, you know what I mean? A lot of people have verses and, and stuff that they really, really like and really resonates with them from the Bible or whatever you study. I don't know too much about religion, but, um, you can definitely, you know, use those in your quotes. You use whatever works for you. I'm just going to do him some little gray hairs in here. I was going to do pink, but I think I'm going to do black. And then I'm going to trace him with a black marker. It'll probably spread. Not as bad as on that other paper, though. Check out my video before this. I ordered my daughter Beauty Box 5, and it's $15, $12, $12. And you get five beauty products for $12. And then they throw in an extra thing this month. I don't know if they do that every month. And it's beauty products. Sometimes it's eyeshadow, mascara, nail polish, eyeliner. It could be anything. And it's five things for 12 bucks. And I can't tell you how many times I've taken her to the store and walked out a hundred bucks later with three things. So I quit getting my uh, one subscription that I had been getting for a couple years. And I thought, I'm going to get it for her. So every month, and she got it today, every month she will have some new beauty supplies and she got some really cool stuff so if you're anybody who likes to you know make up or anything no I joined a thing called art something I don't know I'll have to say it in my next video because I can't remember what it's called where you get like art supplies every month I think it is or every other month And uh, we'll see what comes in that, what that's like. That's gotten good reviews. It's gotten bad reviews. I don't know. We shall see. Now I'm going to color him in a little bit gray right here. Color in it gray. Because it's that kind of day. Color in it gray. Color in a gray. Don't go away. This didn't come out half bad for yapping. And then me drawing. I was drawing. Psh, psh, psh. I was drawing with my pencils after I talked. I now I'm not going to do that in this now to bore you. However, I would probably do a little untangling in here, like with my thinner brush, but I don't have it. But do a little like a little fanciness. I don't know what I have an obsession with dots for, but apparently I do because I'm dotting. Oh, how cute. Now I have to do the other side. Yeah. Oh my God, if this earache doesn't stop soon. I'm 
I'm sorry, that was me. It's <laughs> stuck in my lip. How oh, disgusting. I'm a disgusting thing. There. Oh, I got a sign up. What date's today? 1 9 14. My doodle a day. That's my doodle a day. Poet Spice. I'll put her link below also to check out Doodle of the Day. If you want to start now, you can start now. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Check out the links I have below in my About section. Um, any questions, any, um, any questions or any thing that you guys want to see, anything like that? you know, any experiments or whatever. If you've already asked me to do experiment or to try out something, whatever, and I haven't email me again on YouTube, please, because the Google and the email and the YouTube, it's crazy. Um, when I go to check my Gmail, I get like every comment that's made on all my videos smushed in one email and it's hard to decipher. So send it again, send it to, you can send it to my email at knitting and things at netzero.com and send me a request that you have. So I hope you all have a great day. Be kind to each other because you never know about somebody else is fighting. And I will see you tomorrow for the ending of our mixed media piece and for our next doodle days. Bye guys.